Today we have a great video for you. What we're going to do is we're going to be talking about one of my most favorite things in the RV, the Betty's Beds. Welcome back. Okay, my name is Kim. Welcome back to Fright Night TV. We're a family of three who like to take adventures in our Adventurer Truck Camper 2018 89RB. We're not full-timers, we're weekenders, but we love to have a good time. It's easier to have a good time when you have things to make your life easier when you're on those adventures. One of the things that we really enjoy is my Betty's beds. And believe it or not, it's not just me that enjoys it. It's anybody who sleeps in here and they have to figure out how to make the bed in the morning. They really appreciate it when they say, huh, it's just like a sleeping bag. I just zip it up. I'm like, yes, that's all it is. It's a sleeping bag. It's great. It's comfortable. I think you guys are really going to enjoy this today. I actually found out about Betty's beds when I started looking up how in the world do people make the beds in their truck campers? Because you have nowhere, as you can see it there, to walk around. So everything you do is on your knees or laying down or sitting on the sides um, where you have little cubby areas, like back there in the back where Steve sleeps. There's like a little tiny area you can scoot your body back in there and, you know, pull the fitted sheet down. Purchased it, put it on the bed, after I washed it and it was amazing. But um, you can either get the top sheet, either a minky blanket, which is that soft bumpy blanket, or you can get just like a Perkel sheet. And I went with the blanket and then it has the comforter top. It's a two part system. You have your bottom part right here, which is the part that's like a fitted sheet. Okay, so it goes underneath. And then to that, you have zipped right here all the way around the top part, which is your blanket or your sheet that you just zip into. They have some beautiful, beautiful patterns on their website that you can look at and figure out what works best for your decor. It does suggest that whenever you do wash it for the first time, put a cup of vinegar in there because you see how colorful these are. They can bleed um, and wash it in cold with that cup of vinegar and that will eliminate some of that bleeding and fading. Hey. Do most of you put the water and the, and the detergent in first or the clothes in first? Make a comment below. Tell me what you do. I just do it both ways. Sometimes I put the water and the detergent and I start all that and get it going. Then I put the clothes in there. I'm sure it's the right way. It tells you right there. Hello, look. And then sometimes I just put all the stuff in there and then I add the water and detergent. Either way, it always comes out clean. And the washer's fine because it's over 20 years old and it's done fantastic. Watch it break tomorrow. They also suggest maybe only washing it once a week, no more than that, less is better, um, just to prolong the life of your bedding. We're in no way affiliated with Betty's Beds. I'm just here giving an honest review of their system and how much we really, really love it. And now I just got to sell the husband on getting it for the house. <laughs> now that we have talked about what the components are of the Betty's bed system. Let's talk about how you make it in the morning when you wake up. Okay, so here we are. We're in the bed. We're ready to go on our adventure that morning. So let's go ahead and get going, right? We got to make the bed first and then we got to go get our coffee. We have just woken up. We've had a wonderful night's sleep. It's time to make the bed. <sighs> Is it going to be horrible? Is it going to be easy? It's going to be easy. So I've woken up and all I'm doing is there's a zipper here at the top on either side of the bed. You zip it right up. That's all. 
So that pretty much sums up the Betty's Beds. If you guys have any questions or comments, please post them down below. I'll have a link as well to Betty's.com down below. We can't wait to get back on the road and start traveling and seeing everyone on the road again and having adventures. I can't wait to hear your stories about what Betty's you get, what patterns, send us photos. If you have a different bedding system that you think is amazing, I'm open. Send me cup photos, send me comments. Let me know because I'm always interested in, in new and different ways of having these wonderful adventures that we get to have on the road. Thanks again and we can't wait to see you. Bye.